In this video, we're gonna be using an old school favorite of mine. This is the Body Shop Maca Root and Aloe. And again today, we're gonna to be using the Feather SS Shavette Type Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. So, we have a good one today. We're starting off with an old school favorite of mine, and I've been through a couple of tubs of this at least. This is the Body Shop Maca Root and Aloe. Now it contains aloe, it just, just used to be called um, Maca Root. You can get this for a very reasonable price on Amazon. I'll have a link below, $15.50 for 6.3 ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is an exceptional 2.46 cents per ounce, or $2.46 per ounce, um, 6.3 ounces. Nice tub. Um, this has uh, Peruvian maca root and Mexican aloe. Let me show you the ingredients right there. I had to take a shot of the, the label on the back because the ingredients really aren't listed on the website. And there's different versions of this out there. The old version just says maca root. The newer ones look more like this, but you can find some variations out there. But generally, this is a good performing cream that doesn't cost much. A viewer asked the other day if I would use it, so here you go, sir. Uh, I really like this stuff. The scent on it is not, for me, remarkable. I tolerate it, but the cream is, for me, it's a really good cream, so I sort of tolerate. It's got like a slightly floral scent to it. I uh, don't think granny granny floral, but slightly floral. Uh, it's nothing that's off-putting, but it's not great at the same time, so I'm going to start today by sanitizing the platform with a little uh, PAA St. Martin's Land, which is a green type scent, which I like, and I figure, why the heck not? We might as well add some scent we like to the shave here because that just makes it a lot more enjoyable. This kind of, this St. Martin's Land, I don't know if it's still available or not. I don't know if it's seasonal, but kind of to me smells like a, sort of a woody Sprite, like the drink Sprite or something like that. I really like it. I think it's a good scent. I don't know if it's available still. If it is, I'll link it below, and if not, I won't, obviously. So we'll get started today. And this is just plain water. Sometimes people ask me, just plain tap water, no distilled water, no uh, special elixirs, um, regular 24 hours growth here. And we will, all we're doing is applying moisture to the face. Nose is itching already. Um, no special elixirs there, tap water. The sprayer, if you want it, I have links below because I have been asked a number of times. The brush today, AP Shave Co. Hulk it has that purple and green. It's like a Hulk with Sinbad Knot, 30 millimeter. And I want to start off today's video by clarifying something. So I've been saying recently, if you have sensitive skin, or if you think you might be sensitive, let's say you've never tried maca root before. Maybe you see an ingredient that, that you find to be questionable, maybe for your skin. My advice has been bowl lather it. Because when you bowl lather it and put it on your face like this, it's less impactful, in my view, than face lathering and really working it in. Because if there's, irrit there's an irritant for your skin in here, and you're really working it in, it's probably going to be more irritating than just painting it on. So if I'm painting this on like this, and I get some burning or tingling, I can just wipe it right off, and hopefully, that will sort of minimize the amount of uh, effect on my skin. But if you're working it in and working it in, you're gonna have a greater effect, I do believe. And I give that advice, not for the purpose of a workaround for soaps that irritate you. I'm not, my nose is really itchy. Um, it is not meant to be a workaround for soaps that irritate your skin. So my advice is, if you have a soap that irritates your skin, I would not use it, period. That is my advice. Um, and, if you come across a brand and you find more than not, they irritate your skin, I probably wouldn't use that brand unless they make changes uh, that agree with your skin. So, boy, that's very annoying. Um, I just wanna be very clear. I am not suggesting to bowl lather as a workaround for soaps that irritate your skin. Give you an example. Many years ago, I was trying all the European products and DR Harris. I was, I was going through trying the hard soaps and I had no problem whatsoever with the hard soaps. 
The creams, every single one of them, caused my face to tingle and burn, so I just stopped buying them and using them. Uh, and I think I did mention at the time, you know, in the videos where I uh, used those products, that, you know, I'm getting some burning. But what I did was just discontinue use. And that's what I recommend that you do. Now, I didn't discontinue all of DR Harris because the soaps didn't bother me. So I still have like Arlington, which I think is a fantastic scent. Um, but the creams just didn't work for me. And so if you find yourself in that situation where something, um, whether it's a, a single soap or maybe even a brand that more than not, or, or let's just say it's too frequent for your liking, so if you've tried five soaps and three of them irritate your skin or you get burning, then I would probably stay away from that brand across the board. And I don't care what brand that is. Um, if you find that to be the case for you, my level of tolerance for that would probably be, you know, if, if more than not, or if very, very frequently a soap burned my skin, I would probably not use uh, the brand, if it was a regular occurrence. Now, if I just get one or two, say out of 50, then I would just take it on a case by case basis. I'll give you another example. I know that sometimes I can be uh, sensitive to cinnamon. Sometimes it will cause a little tingling on my face. So what I do is, if I see a soap with a cinnamon note in it, it does not always irritate my face. So I suspect, I suspect, not suspect. I suspect I might have an issue. I would definitely bowl lather. I bowl lather anyway, but if you're a face lather and you think, oh, cinnamon, I don't know. It doesn't always irritate my face, but there's a chance it might. I'm going to bowl lather it. If you get it on your face and you find it's problematic, you get that tingling, get it off the face, switch to something else. I've said this before, and I'm going to repeat it again. In, in this particular realm, shaving, is the opposite of what we used to say about exercise. In exercise, no pain, no gain, right? Because you've got to work and, you know, build up that lactic, lactic acid and so on, and it feels uncomfortable. No pain, no gain. In shaving, it's there is nothing to gain from pain. So if you experience pain or discomfort, don't do that thing. And whether that be a single soap, um, a brand of soap, if you find more than not, it's causing a problem, then I would avoid that product. I don't care which product product uh, it is. In my case, I found that Dr. Harris. I need to hydrate. I need to hydrate first. I found that the Dr. Harris creams bothered me, and so and I didn't use them. And I found throughout the years that I've been doing this that I've had probably, I'm guessing somewhere in the realm of ten to fifteen products ever out of hundreds of soaps, and sometimes I say a thousand. I Honestly, I know it's above 500. I'm very confident that it's above 500. So 10 or 15 out of 500 is not a ton. And the only thing that I have avoided in total is the DR Harris creams, because they just, for whatever reason, there's something in it that doesn't agree with my skin. And so there's no reason to make your shave uncomfortable. So... My general guideline, if you don't know, if you suspect and you're a face lather, bowl lather it, you'll perhaps minimize that irritation should it come, right? But again, I am not, not, not suggesting this is a workaround. So if you have a soap that you know to be irritating, I'm not saying bowl lather it and still use it. No, I'm saying don't use it. And if it's happening to you a lot, then you need to find out, is it the brand? Is it the frag oil and discontinue use? And I think I would also share that feedback as well uh, with the artisan because if you don't, they're not gonna have any way of knowing that, you know, there's an issue, so. Um, share it. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you ask for a refund because I have never asked for a refund based on, um, a tingling or burning because I, I honestly, I feel like when you're, when you know, when you're testing a lot of these things, you're just going to have that in a certain amount of things. And for me, 
like I said, it's happened maybe, I probably less than 15 times out of, you know, easily greater than 500 soaps, I would say. So that's not a huge number. And I look at that as sort of the, the price of trying a variety of things, you know. And when, when I get that, I just don't use it. So discontinue use, it's that simple. And if you find that more than not, you have a brand where this is present, then I probably personally would not buy from, why would you buy, um, continue to buy from a brand where your face is irritated more than not? That doesn't make sense to me. So make your purchasing decision based on work, what works best for you. So let's say if you had, if you tried a different blade, if you tried a Schick Proline blade in here and you used it 25 times and it's still not working well, you know, why continue to use it? It doesn't make sense to. So make your pur purchasing decisions along with what works best for you. And that includes avoiding irritation. So I hope I have covered that and made it clear that in no way am I suggesting suggesting, excuse me, I'm trying to focus at the same time. I'm not suggesting you should use irritating products and just bowl lather them to avoid, you know, to, to, uh, so you can continue to use them even, even though they're irritating. If it's irritating, don't use it. That simple. <laughs> it, and I know I uh, repeated myself a lot there, but I want it to be very, very clear because I was having a private conversation with someone and, um, they thought I wasn't clear on that and that I was perhaps suggesting as a sort of workaround. And that is not what I'm suggesting. I want to make sure everybody understands that because I don't want to lead people astray or, or give them a tip that they're, they have the wrong impression about. So I hope that um, clears at least that part up. If you're feeling pain, there's nothing to gain. Don't do it. It's that simple. Same thing with if you have a really rough, if I, if I had a rough blade in here, change it out even during the shave. It's not rough, it still feels great. But if I had a rough blade in here, there's no need to just to press through it for the sake of being macho. You know, if something's rough and you can feel it, it's rough. Or if it's burning, it's burning. Change it out right during the shave. And I linked, when I talked about this like a week or two ago, I linked a video from Mark from Friendship Shaving where he switched right in the middle. He, uh, he had a burning soap and he took it right off his face and switched it. That's what you should do. That's exactly the way it should be done. Same thing could be said of a blade. If it's really bothering you, bad straight razor hone, you know, whatever, don't push through it. I know sometimes we do, but for you, I'm suggesting don't push through it. <laughs> There's no reason to do it. All right. The one thing I'll say is the uh, the PAA St. Martin's Land has has really added some nice <laughs> scent to the shave. So I find the scent to be enjoyable because I'm mostly getting that uh, St. Martin's Land, which I really like. And the feather here is doing a fantastic job, or I'm doing a fantastic job. That could change at any minute. I could uh, get complacent, come in too steep, and cut myself. So you should never probably brag while you're shaving, but I'm just saying, I'm really enjoying the smoothness of this shave. Really enjoying it. All right. Let's see if we can get this other side and then we'll come in. So what do we get that cross grain? Man, oh man, every time I use these blades, I think honestly, some of the smoothest blades are these uh, Artist Club star type blades. And this razor, and this razor has a pretty good weight. It is equivalent to a lot of uh, five ounce, five ounce, five eighths or even six eighth um, straight razors. Cause I weighed some of them and it is, it compares very favorably to a lot of your five eighths, especially and some six eighths razors. And so it does have a little weight to it. So it doesn't feel as light as a weck. Um, but the blade still cuts really smoothly for me. And I just don't feel any irritating anything from this 
from this blade. But this Maca Root Cream, which I haven't talked a lot about, it just does a great job. It's very slick. It doesn't dry out my face. It does have things like aloe and the Maca Root, which are moisturizing sort of ingredients. And so for me, it just works very well. And it just glides really smoothly. And the thing about these Shavettes, like this Feather SS, and you can pick your choice of blade. There are like four or five choices of blades you can go with. It's so smooth that you don't have to muscle it at all. And I, I think that's what I like most about these um, Shavette type razors is that they cut really smoothly and closely without needing any muscling, which can't always be said of straight razors. At least, at least for me. Okay, that was outstanding, smooth. Let's, let's get right here real quick. Very nice. No bubbles, no troubles. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we're back today with our Lancaster towel, and I believe there will be a drop of these today. And so I will make a link to the website below. If you're interested in a Lancaster towel, there'll be a drop. Today, I really like this towel, as you well know. And in comes the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which works very well for me. I really enjoy it. And you see it every single day here. No trickery, same old stuff. And that was really, really nice. So the Macaroot cream, it's great, I think. For the cost, it is an excellent cream. It doesn't dry out my skin. I can't say that'll be the case for you. Causes no problems for me. Excellent. The Feather SS, and this is a ProGuard blade in here. I'm just using this until I'm done with it. And then next time I'll probably use a Super just to see what the differences are. But uh, excellent, smooth, close shave. I really enjoy it. The AP Shave Co. Hulk with the Sinbad 30 millimeter knot. Fantastic, no problem with that. And again, we'll finish off today with the PAA St. Martin's Land. And I wanna mention, I did use the PAA Alum with Dry Dock um, Off Cam during the rinse there. No burning whatsoever. This was a very smooth shave. The Macaroot worked great. Um, allowed me to get an exceptionally close, smooth shave with that wonderful feather shavette. And just like this, we're gonna be off for a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday too. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.